Hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to part two of today's stream. We're gonna be playing some more of our Final Fantasy X-2 Fiend Tales run. Yes, and we are gonna start off with a tale, okay? The Flan Azul. We, we earned this, we hadn't played it quite yet. Also, I have some tea. I have some tea, I'm just waiting for it to finish seeping. I wanna have some chai tea. Okay, here we go, Flan Azul. Let's see what's up with him. Have you by any chance seen my master? It's been two years since I lost sight of him. I exist only to serve my master. I must find him. Between the lush mystical forest and a river where glowing flowers bloomed, that was where the small village was, the village where I lived with my master. But one day my master disappeared. Of course, we searched by day and night for him, but ultimately we were not able to find him. The master was our savior. There have always been a rift between our kind and humans. The master showed us a way out. Okay, so it's gonna be a guado. The master became our leader and put us on the correct path. I will return this world to its original form. You must all help me accomplish this. The master would always say this while looking on with somber eyes. Oh no. Oh, hey Koneko, thank you so much for the lurk. I think we're, I think we're about to see our fuzzy belly friend. Oh boy. <laughs> Another fiend has informed me that my master has long since departed for the far plane. With the master gone, I have no reason to remain in Spira. Shinra, I must ask a favor of you. Could you take me to Makalania Woods? I wish to return to the place where I first met my master. All right, let's see who his master is. Or could it could be Trommel, but it's probably Seymour. There was a time when this forest was scintillatingly beautiful. Its radiance now is in steady decline. Perhaps I had already lost everything two years ago. I do not possess the will to go on living without you, Master. I will come to your side shortly. I had thought I had noticed the darkness you carried in your heart, Master. I was not able to ease your pain in any way. I think I missed a line. I glanced away. Had I known the darkness of solitude felt by all who... I might have understood you better, my Master. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to read it sadly. Don't go so fast, subtitles. Alexa, stop. I knew it! I knew it was gonna be Mr. Fuzzy Belly. I had one heck of a week, so it's a lurk day today. Oh, I'm sorry to hear you had a, a tough day, Corneco. Hopefully this evening is better for you. Or at least chill. It is Seymour, oh my god. He lived only for Seymour, that's so bad. I'm sorry you went through that, Mr. Flanazul. Hmm? Was I? Alive? I was dreaming about my master. As I awoke, I could have sworn that I heard my master's voice. I thought I heard my master say, it's too soon to go to the far plane. Perhaps that was just part of my dream. But now, I will leave this forest. And I will travel around Spira for a while longer. This is just a hunch that I have, but I have a feeling that my master may still be here somewhere in Spira. Oh, I hope not. Oh, we defeated his fuzzy belly self. Heck to the no. Uh, do we need more M's? Yeah, we do need a few more M's. Um, okay. Well, that was uncomfortable. <laughs> uh, let's catch some more fiends. 
Uh, okay, we have two M's and a special. Okay, so let's go and get... Yeah, special... This one? Helm. Yeah, there should be a helm here. Small helm. There he is! Sell it, yes. Alright, let's mark him off. Oh. There we go. Alright, um, mediums. We can use the mediums in Thunder Plains. Oh. Set trap pod. Lesser Drake. Okay, yes, I did need that one. You can join the Gull Wings. Alright, let's organize our team. We'll do Shantok. Do an Adamantite on him and a Crystal Bangle. Make him real, real strong. I'm gonna try one more time with getting the right oversoul on the elementarios and if it oversoul is not the one that we want i don't i think we'll have to get the gold elemental oversoul another way or we'll have to do it with the girls or something oh he doesn't do as much damage as i thought i thought he would do like a swoopy and damage all of them So I think at this point, you know, we've run out of... Oh yeah, Sonic Blue, that's what I thought. Um, but it didn't do as much damage as I thought. Um, because I think at this point we've run out of, like, easy ones as far as, like, finishing the Oversoul. Or doing as much progress as we can this run on the Oversouling. So we're kind of at the point where it's like, we'll do something else. So I think we'll do Tournament, because that'll give us bonus as well. If we win anyway. So it should be a little bit faster. He didn't kill them as fast as I thought he would. Okay, so instead of this, let's just tournament it. Go. We're fighting Elementrio first <laughs> in the tournament. But at least when we do the tournament, we get bonuses. So it's a little bit more efficient, I think. So yeah, we've still got... So the gold element and the amorphous gel oversoul we do not have that we could keep trying to get. But it's just too annoying to kill the amorphous gels when you can't control. So, we'll do that later. I need to look at which ones are in the other cups, because we'll do those next chapter. I made some notes on it before. I'm going to take a peek at my notes.
found where I wrote it down. Yeah, so in Standard Cup Hard, there's several that we can get. We can get the White Fang, um, Gukumtaz, Gukumots. I don't know how to say that. Um, it's the first little, like, fossilisk thing. Shell Shocker. Oh, that's the Sleepy Sneaky that we unlocked. Guardian Beast. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we need S's. We definitely need S's. Okay, who are we fighting next? No fear. Okay. No fear, no fear. Yeah, I don't think we fought No Fear. It wasn't on my unlock list. Get him, Sean Talk. Because I think we should be able to do like one tournament. You know, and if we win, then they're going to end up getting all their bean tail. Although it looks like he is not doing well against the machines. Come on, Sean Talk, get him. They got to be almost dead. Jesus, that's a lot of damage. He's flying high. There we go. Cure up. On now. You gotta be dead soon. There we go. Mm, yep. Uh, let's see. We still need M's? Yeah, we still need M's. Okay, last one. Come on, these should be easy, Shantok. You got this. Uh, Sonic Boom is not a, not that wide. I thought it would have hit both. That's what I would think. It should hit both like that. Boom. Yeah, you can't curse him.
bust it out. Attack like mad. Yeah, so they take so much more damage when you put them on the five stars. And they do more damage too, so it's like a trade off. Come on, come on. Oh my gosh, why, why? Why do they have so much health? There we go, got one. Okay, that other one can't be long. The longest Moonfang fight ever. Winner! Uh, let's see. Yes, we still need mediums. Okay, let's go watch his fiend tail. I am a Shantok, but I'm bad at flying. Whenever I try to ride the wind, I hear terrible sounds and people shouting. Then everything goes red and I get all dizzy. Who was I in my past life? I finally remember my past life. I was an Albed engineer who dreamed of sailing the skies. It was my team that built the first working hover in Spira. Nowadays, hovers have been improved so much that they pretty much fly with ease, but back then, it was endless trial and error with a clunky prototype made from scrap parts. I remember that first day it, that it sustained flight. We were all hugging each other. But our hard work was about to pay off. As we came to the presentation of the prototype, I was the test pilot. The specs, my pilot skills, everything was supposed to be perfect. But there was engine trouble and the hover caught on fire. I didn't make it. The news of our prototype's failure spread and hovers became known as dangerous vehicles. And with that, our hover project was shelved indefinitely. Oh no, that's so sad. They worked so hard to get it shelved. The disappointment of not being able to fly changed me and the prototype into a fiend. But look at these hovers whizzing around now. They're the safest vehicles in Spira. Our experiment may have failed, but it wasn't all for nothing, right? Come on, let's fly. I have a hundred years of regret to let loose. Okay, okay, this is gonna be a happy one. I can feel it. A strong opposing wind blows on the steep path. Ahead of it lies the calm lands. The place where our dreams were shattered. It's been a hundred years since I tried this last. Yes, I'm finally riding the wind. All are, are you all watching? Oh, it's been a very long time since I built the hover prototype as a human. Even as newer and newer machines are invented, the people's interest strayed from the skies. My passion for the sky was not waned.
Oh, that was so nice. He was able to pass on because he flies now. Oh, I love it. That was a good one too. Okay, so we have one slot. Let's go trap. Okay, set traps. Oh, we have a small, we have a small, okay. Let's go to Mushroom Rock. Let's try, let's try to get, there's one here that you can only catch inside of a small. There he is. Okay, Tom Berry. All right, so then we're full up. Let's go to the arena. Organized team. Okay, we don't have any more larges, so let's do Proto Chimera and let's do we've got Chocobo or Tonberry. Let's do Chocobo. We've had Chocobo there for a while and, and not not done his. Okay, we're gonna make him crazy spellcaster. There we go. Oh, he was wearing the Iron Duke. I must have put that on him at some point. Anyways, okay. Uh, let's do it. Enter tournament. Standard. Yes. All right, let's go. Get him, Chocobo. We're gonna have to catch another Chocobo once we release this one, because we actually do need to have one available to us. So we'll try to do that, but you can still catch him in chapter two. So we'll see what happens with that. Life preserver. Chocobos get the weirdest abilities, I swear. Round one, done. Uh, do we need, yes, we still need some more L's, okay. Yeah, there's still four more large fiends to catch. Oh, this stupid one. I'm so over you. Well, let's see if these guys can kill it. Don't squish her, my Chabokobo. He didn't do nothing to you. I wish they wouldn't try to telekinesis him, though. It, like, never works. He's, like, really, like, high resistance to it or something. Thanks for the fire heal. There we go. Yeah, they never cast flare on the amorphous gel. Maybe it just like truly doesn't work. That's why they keep doing the telekinesis over and over. Yeah, they can just straight up attack. 
I don't know if it'll do damage fast enough with the squisher. Oh, one damage. Wow. Yeah. That was gonna happen since he's wearing ring. Come on, Chocobo. Try to pull this out. See if he can. He's got a lot of mana left. Oh, nope. Squisher time. Poor Chocobo thinks he can cure his way th through this. I don't think he can. Okay, that was a waste. Just gonna keep going back and forth until you run out of mana. Oh, there we go. At least the cure landed after the squish. So it wasn't a complete waste. Come on, keep kicking him. Keep kicking him. Never works. It's good for other enemies, not the gel. Okay, Chocobo's out of mana, pretty much, so this is about to be over one way or the other. This next kick kills him, or the chocobo dies. Yep, he's about to be done. Oh, you fought a good fight, chocobo. You tried really hard. Try really hard. Uh, yeah. Give me the S. Alright, let's go again. Hopefully we just don't get Forest Watch this time. And they can make it farther and get the bonus. Let's see who first, who first. Is it Flying Circus, I think? Well, we beat Flying Circus before. Let's go. I 
There you go, that's the kind of enemy you use telekinesis on. Heck yeah! That's what we like to see! Oh, these guys. Okay. Do it quick. Do it quick. There we go. Oh, Proto Chimera flares again. Did it even do any damage to the other one? Okay, might win this one. we doing oh it's forest watch again okay here we go <laughs> uh yeah because they never cast flare against him so he must be immune so we just got to keep doing physical attacks but i don't think they're gonna do it should definitely flare that guy though get rid of him quick Breath didn't do anything to the gel. they keep doing telekinesis. That's not what I want y'all to do. Oh, it worked finally. Okay. Yeah, just kick him. Just kick him. Oh! Oh! Flare does do something! Why the heck didn't you do that other times? Huh? Good God. Got it that time. I know I gave you Flare for a reason. Now we win. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay, let's go watch some tails. In, out. That's what's called taking a deep breath. Oh. Breathing in the autumn air of the calm lands makes my body feel so light. I feel like I could run forever. Watch me! Hey, did you know spring is when the moon flow is the most beautiful? During spring is when the moon lilies blossom and when you can see the most pyreflies. Lovers gather by the banks. It's mating season for shoe puffs and hypello too. Me too, of course. I'm going to find a nice boy and walk along the moon flow holding hands. Hey, have you heard the sound of the waves at dusk at Besaids White Beaches? The sea is painted red and the waves get so quiet. I watched for a long time, sad that the day was over. I guess that's about it for summer memories. Winter I don't like very much because I can't go anywhere. I think about the next spring when the new year arrives and I'll make many more memories. 
Hey, don't forget about me, okay? Always, always, always remember me. Okay, well, let's see this Chocobo's fiend tail. I don't think of Chocobo's as straight up fiends, you know. La la, la 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 la, la 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 la. La la la, la la, la 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 la. Oh! Mother! Father! How many years has it been now? How many years since she passed? Oh look, class goes with them. Mother, father. Hey, look at me. Look, I can run with so much energy now. It's not a dream. I can go anywhere in the world with my own two feet. But my, what a lively choke of all. They don't know, my dear. I'm sure that our child is doing fine. You're right. Really. Because there she is. Oh, that was a good one. Twitch has become the new porn hub. No, they rolled it back, Eminem. They rolled it back. Sucks. I liked the new rules. Well, they only rolled back the, the fictional drawings. I thought the new rules were awesome and they should go they should even like go back to what they originally said about being able to draw nudity you know so long as it wasn't depicting actual sex acts it was okay you know yeah they rolled back the one about fictional drawings a little bit because people were doing like deep fakes and stupid stuff that they shouldn't have been doing anyway i think otherwise the new rules are good and they should keep them Kids shouldn't be on social media anyways. And you can put 18 plus on your streams, which I do as well. Uh, okay, who else are we leveling up? Oh, the Proto Chimera. Okay, let's see the Proto Chimera. I had two children. My son graduated top of his class from Yevon Academy and became a monk in Jose. I was so proud of him, but he hasn't returned home at all. He must have been so busy, but I would have been happy to even get a letter. My dear boy, your mother misses you. My daughter must have felt she was always being measured against her brother. She became quite rebellious. After a while, she wouldn't even speak to me, and one day she left home. She is actually a gentle, sweet girl. It broke my heart to hear her so unhappy. It's your mother's fault that things turned out this way. I'm so sorry. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Poor this, uh, this mom not doing right. I lost the will to live and fell gravely ill. I figured I would be sent to the far plane when my time came. I woke up and found myself the way you see me now. For a while, I was inconsolable. But I've realized recently that there are good things about becoming a fiend. Jose was attacked by sin just as I drew my last breath. Not only my son who was working at the temple, but also my daughter was in Jose at the time. All of our lives ended at the same time. I cursed the cruelty of sin. Oh wait, there was one more. But then a miracle happened, oh no. What miracle happened, mom? What miracle? The miracle that sin brought upon our family? Mother? Mom. It brought our fractured family back together again. Mother, I'm sorry for making you feel all alone. I'm sorry, Mom. I I was lonely too. It's all right. From now on, we'll live and work together as a family. Oh my god. Yes. The kids are there with her. My darling children, I'm so glad that it turned out this way. Oh my god. Oh my god. They're all one fiend. They're all one fiend. Hey, looks like you're having a moment. Hey, let your dad share the joy too. Hey, you're all getting far away. Hey. 
Oh my god, Dad's the snake tail. Hey! <laughs> the Ushi family's entered the fiend arena the heck. Oh my god. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. <laughs> the fuck? Oh my god. Oh, time to trap some more fiends. That was a good one. That was a good one. Oh my god. Okay, what, what do we got? Okay, we got some mediums, we got some smalls. Okay, we do need to catch some more small ones. Um, let's put the small... Let's do use the small ones. Let's put the small one in the save. Okay, yes, this is what we wanted. Alright, let me mark him off. Um, okay. okay, there we go. Messed up for a second. Okay, so we got him. Let's see what else. Um, there's a, another small one in Kilika we can get. Set trap pod. Yeah, Death Dauber. Cross him off. Do Quadricorn and Tonberry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Crystal Bangle, maybe you get yeah, Adamantite and Iron Duke. And then Quadricorn. Let's see, you don't have a lot of magic, so I can't do that to you. We can give you the other Iron Duke, and we can give you Crystal Bangle. Okay. Alright, let's enter the tournament. Yes. So yeah, Eminent, I think it's a good thing. I think it's a good thing that Twitch is saying, like, you know, no ambiguity, all booba streamers are allowed. You just can't show, you know, real life genitals or real life nips. Everything else you can show. I think that's good. Because, like, what the heck else is the internet for? You know? Kids shouldn't be on social media sites anyways. Kids shouldn't be watching things on online without their parents, you know, looking at what they're watching. You know, the parents should be fully well aware of what their kids are watching. And most of Twitch is not these booba streamers. Most of Twitch is games anyways. So it's like, why shouldn't they be allowed? You know? And there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with it. You know, I just legitimately don't think that anyone's being harmed by body paint or, you know, thong yoga or whatever the heck else people are doing. And they're not going to show all the goods on Twitch anyways, because what they're trying to do is drive people to their OnlyFans where they actually show the goods, you know? So it's whatever. I'm happy they changed it. I wish they would have not made adjustments to the fictional content and kept that the way they said too. But I understand. People were doing deep fakes and um, art that was art, you know, that was hyper-realistic, um, AI-driven crap like that that uh, shouldn't that shouldn't have counted. But instead of just saying that you're not allowed to do AI art, which is what they should have done, um, you know, cause they, but they can't take a principled stance against that. So instead they just say like, you know, uh, sorry, we're rolling back some of the stuff about fictional content, which just really sucks for artists. Really, really sucks for artists, you know? 
but it is what it is. I think the new rules are a positive direction. Even though they rolled back some of it in regards to the fictional content. So you have to remember, the internet is for porn. The internet is for porn. As we all learned from Avenue Q in 2004, they were speaking the truth. So, yeah. That's what I think about that. That no, Twitch is not the new porn hub, but what they're doing is good and it's okay. And I'm happy for it. So yeah, there you go. There's a, an actual take on stuff going on on Twitch, which I almost never talk about that crap, but there you go. There's one. There we go. This team can get it. You know what? Maybe I should take this team to fight Forest Watch over and over. But doing the tournament's probably gonna, you know, make them make their thing done, so it's okay. But they actually seem to beat it pretty easy. Uh, yep, we need S. Oh, excuse me. Sense Preserver? I wonder what that does. Probably won't see him use it. You know? Get him, get him! I can't believe Flying Circus was last for the tournament. That's crazy. They're never last. Yeah, these guys definitely will have their bean tails finished. Winner! All right, creature history, let's go. Uh, Quadricorn. Do you have someone you can call a rival? You know, someone who you're not friendly with and really annoyed by, but someone important to your life nonetheless, a worthy opponent. You don't realize how valuable they are to you until they're gone. I myself have felt this void in my life for a long time now. I was a blitzball player. This may sound a bit immodest, but I was the star player. My technique was flawless, and never once did I lose, until that fateful day when I met my rival. My world changed after I met him. The supreme confidence I once held was shattered. I didn't want to lose. I had to see which one of us was worthy of being called a star, but he didn't have the time for that. He had a monumental journey to undertake. Still, I requested a match. That was the first and last time we competed. Our match ended with no clear victor. I was obviously dissatisfied. I told him as much, and he replied that we could have a rematch once we, he returned from his journey. And then we could call our calm, we could see our calm season come fruition, he said. You better not have forgotten, O'Holland. I've still got you in my sights. Oh my god, it's O'Holland. I thought it was going to be Waka, but this is ancient. This is from when O'Holland was a summoner. Wow. So that's the famous summoner that was also a blitzball player. Well, isn't that something? Yeah, getting turned into a statue. <laughs> he's not, uh, he's not the statue, like. <laughs> uh. You think I'd let you run off thinking that you won? That match was a draw, by the way. We still have unfinished business. You have to take care of that on the far plane, my friend. Cause that's where O'Holland is now. So, you want to continue the match, huh? Alright, let's do it then. Mm. 
I can't kick. Yeah, you got paws now. It's kind of different, huh? I am no longer the man I was back then. Looks like you win, O'Holland. Since when did you become so pathetic? <gasps> Is it O'Holland? How so? Took you long enough to get here. Oh, Holland, you... You haven't forgotten our promise, have you? You're the one to talk. For the longest time, I... Fine, then. Let's get this match started. No, I can't anymore. I concede defeat. Don't give up, Quadricorn. The man, the one man in the world whose skill I admire would never talk like such a loser. The man I aspire to be has always been you. <gasps> he feels the same way. Well, prepare yourself then. I'll be over there shortly. Oh, good. They're going to have their rematch on the far plane. Yay. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I liked that one. I liked that one. I love Blitzball. Okay, let's see about the Tonberries. Okay. You guys are, like, doing a lot of research on us, right? Like, we don't know your that your scientists have been trying to learn more about us. Please. But really, in the end, you've learned nothing about the secrets of Tonberry life. I guess it can't be helped. We live so far underground. This is a good opportunity for me to tell you more about us. You're interested, right? Our kind all get along, and we never fight. We're very peaceful, despite being fiends. I mean, just look at our faces. Don't we look serene? We don't think too deeply about things. We don't sit around worrying very much. We forget bad things the next day like it never happened. Don't you think that's a positive approach? We do things at our own pace. We're not competitive. We just want to have fun and laugh all day long. I feel like this Tom Berry is uh, kind of over explaining a little bit if he really feels this way, you know what I'm saying? We're good at making others laugh. We can do both fool and straight man. Every day is a riot. We have karma and chef's knife so other fiends are pretty wary of us. So we're never in much danger. Don't you envy us? Although our average lifespan is shorter than other fiends, go figure. <laughs> oh, let's see. Let's see what's up with this. Oh, it's the Via Infinito. I'm back! Welcome back! Sorry I'm so late. This place is so deep. I was digging so it took a- so it took time. Yeah, right. That bitch just stabbed- what? Ow, that hurt. He just stabbed him. Just- what? And he stabbed him back! What are you doing? I knew there was a liar. It, he didn't even do anything! Why me? <laughs> yeah, these Tomberry's the opposite of peaceful. Enough already! I guess that's the big one talking. Oh my god. Yeah, Tomberry's brutal. Right, Alpha Tiff? Tonberry, the rarest of fiends. Their life expectancy is extremely short. Yeah, because they stab at each other all the time. Okay, I think we have two slots. Yeah, we have two slots. Okay. Let's go trap some more. Okay, good. We have small still. So let's trap in Mushroom Rock. Oh. No, we don't need you. So you can get duplicates like that. It's a little annoying. 
Um, let's do... Let's do a special in Mushroom Rock to get that one. Should be a mushroom is the last one we need in there. Uh, yeah, yeah, this one. There we go, got him. Okay, got that one. Um, okay, let's try again. Uh, let's see, let's do, let's do Meehan High Road. Oh, a fly eye. Yes, we do need that one. Jackie Stowe, hello. How are you doing? Are you having a good weekend, friend? All right, got that one. Let's go back to the menu. All right, who we want to team up now? This one and this one. Are you doing anything fun this weekend, Jackie? Doing great, thank you. I hope you too. Me too for sure. Me too for sure. I don't know if you've seen my um, if you've seen my chatter recently, but um, I'm totally obsessed with uh, with Season of Discovery and WoW, so that's what I've been doing when I'm not doing uh, stream games, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, it's awesome. It's awesome. Okay, let's do... Yeah, let's do some Iron Dukes. Yeah, I think that's good. Actually, nothing this weekend. Resting before the busy holiday weekend. Oh, I feel that. Oh, I feel that, friend. What are you doing for Christmas? We're taking a cruise, so I have some things I have to do before then. You know what I'm saying? But I still work next week, and then after that, I'm off for the, for the cruise. I'm looking really forward to it. But of course, we got to clean. We got to pack. We gotta do all the things. I got stuff to wrap up at work, you know. Oh, forest watch right off the bat. Great. Let's see if this, this team can get it. And I guess killing them over and over here, like it's still helpful to try to get the, um, the oversoul. Oh, by the way, gonna see my family for Christmas weekend. Oh, that's so nice. That's so nice. My family's coming on for, um, coming on the cruise. By the way, y'all that are probably like, who the heck is Jackie? And how does Karen know them? Well, it's because they're a streamer. It's because they're a streamer. <laughs> that's how I know. So everyone go follow, um, go follow Jackie Stowe. And you're part of Highlight, right? Like, that's how I know you? I think that's why. It's, it's Highlight. Or are, we, or are we mutuals on Blue Sky? Well, maybe it's both. So y'all go um, drop Jackie a follow. And Jackie, tell them what kind of stuff you stream. If you, if, you, if you want to. You don't have to. No pressure. So yeah, my parents are coming on the cruise too, so we'll be hanging out with family as well. And um, we've cruised a lot, so, but I'm excited because um, we've never cruised during Christmas time. So it's kind of like a whole, there's a whole different thing with different activities, different menus, you know, stuff that I've not experienced before. And we got matching Christmas t-shirts. We, we've all got ugly Christmas sweaters. Um, we've got little Santa hats, little light up Santa hats. Um, that's gonna make it really fun. I play this game a lot as a teenager. Love seeing the different costumes for everyone. Oh yeah. Oh hell yeah. I love this game. 
I didn't love it at first. I, when I played it as a teenager, because I never beat it. So I didn't understand. Like, I didn't really understand, like, what Yuna was going through, because I never saw that ending. So, like, I didn't get it. But I decided, um, this was when I got 400 followers. I was like, I'm going to beat 10-2, um, because ne I never beat it. And by the end, I was crying. And I was so there for Yuna and her journey. And just was, like, so believing in her, you know? So now I love it, and I think it's great. I always loved the combat system. Like, I always thought the combat system was good. I just was not jazzed about the story. But I realized I was so wrong. I was so wrong. I was just drinking the haterade. Um, and I loved 10 so much. But I, like, I was wrong. This complements 10 to a T. Like, what Yuna goes through and, like, committing to do the right thing without also doing the wrong thing at the same time. Like, I think that's that's so real that she grows in that way. And that's what we should all strive for. Like, we shouldn't have to make those type of sacrifices that they did in 10 just to get, you know, get get what you need to fix the world. Like, the world can be, can be corrected without so much ridiculous sacrifice. I do believe that. Okay, this team can't beat Forest Watch. <laughs> this team can't beat Forest Watch, like, at all. Okay, let's do it before. Uh, yeah, we can get S. Uh, okay, let's go. Let's go again. I never finished 10 before. Didn't get anything about 10 2 story. <laughs> well, the combat's really good. So if you didn't, you weren't invested in Spirit or the story, then it would be like, oh, cool. Like I think you would enjoy t enjoy 10 2 without 10. You know, more likely than the other way around, right? What's this mode? Yes. Okay, so this is called this is Fiend Tales that we're doing. Um, you can capture the fiends, and if you level them up a little bit, they'll give you like little, each fiend has little extra bonus scenes, so it kind of like adds to the lore of Spira, and, uh, and a little bit to the story. So we are on New Game Plus number two, so we played through it with New Yevon, we played through it again with the Youth League, and now we're on a, number three, and we're doing all the fiend tales. Um, and you have to at least be in your first new game plus to do some of them. Like some of, you can't do them all in the first round. It has to be new game plus. So, um, so that's what we're doing for this round three. I hope we get a 10 remake someday. The vibe of the world is really great for real. Oh my God, a 10 remake with a different battle system would be amazing. Like same story, but like more modern battle system. Like, oh my God, imagine that. Wouldn't that be so fucking cool? I would love that. I would play it if they made that, you know? But I love 10, and I still play it anyways, even with the, you know, turn, the straight up turn based battle system, you know? Because there's still a lot of charm in that battle system, and there are still fights that are challenging when you don't know how to do them. Like, a lot of people are like, oh, it's so easy, and it's like, it's easy when you know all the tricks. It's not easy when you don't. And I know because I watch people do the blind playthroughs that have never done it before, you know? Just like the FF7 remake, just perfect exactly. I would love that. I would love that. Um, also, I am somebody that would play a 10-3 if they made a 10-3. I love Spira, and I would play it, even if it, even if it was going to be crap. Like, I would love it and play it. You know, just because I love Spira that much, I always want to go back there. It's just, like, one of my favorite Final Fantasy worlds, you know? It's so cool. Like just all the, the the look, the feel, the theme, just everything about it is so neat. I love like this, we're doing the fiend tales, right? Like one of the things I love about Spira is that the reason that there's actually like a reason that the fiends are there. There's not just random monsters in the world because you need random monsters in your RPG, you know? There's a reason that the monsters are there. Multiple reasons, in fact, so like, you're not just like, but why? Like, you understand. Yeah, this team's gonna get obliterated by the Forest um, Watch team again. This poor team, it can't do Forest Watch. So we're gonna lose again, but we still leveled, so it's okay. The vibe is very alien, yet not too futuristic. Yeah, and it's like really cool. So like a lot of the vibe is from um, Southeast Asia and we don't get a lot, we don't get exposure in the West to a lot of fantasy worlds based off of Southeast Asia, you know? So it's like a different vibe than most fantasy worlds we get exposed to. And I think that also is part of what makes it so cool. 
that we we get that that newness, you know. Because there's just not a lot that that we have access to in the stories that we have access to here in the West that that takes from that area of the world. So it's like so neat. Maybe they're not doing too bad. Maybe if they just keep attacking, they'll do it. Because I didn't give either of them flare, so... I don't know. But they've been healing themselves, so maybe they'll do it. Totally right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I love it. And I just love all the characters, too. Like, one of the things that's so good about Tin is the character writing. And, like... There's usually, like, elements of the characters and the plot and stuff that are good in, in a lot of Final Fantasies. But Ten has the best characters, hands down. Like, none of the other Final Fantasies even come close in regards to the, the character work. Okay, yeah, we're dead, because Salad's only got 16 magic, so he's not going to kill himself. So unless he kills him in the next couple of, like, you know, elbow checks, shoulder checks, uh, he's done. Yeah, don't even waste your time doing defense up, my dude. Just keep shoulder checking him. Oh my god. As soon as he casts magic, we're gonna be dead. Yep. Goodbye. My horny teenage self was in love with Yuna. <laughs> Yuna's a good character. She's definitely one of my favorites as far as when you think about like um, the Final Fantasy like ladies or like the main girl of a, a particular Final Fantasy games. Like she's a favorite. She's really good, really well-rounded character. Um, I really vibe with Yuna so, so much. Like, I don't know. She's just, I find her like, very easy to understand um, and very easy to relate to. And I just, I love the growth she goes through between this game and the next game. As a kid, I liked Riku, you know? As a kid, I thought like, cause she's fun and bubbly and stuff, but like, the more times I played the game, the more it became that, like, Yuna was my favorite instead of Riku. But the first time I played when I was in high school, when it first came out, was it was Riku. But then over the years, I don't know when exactly it changed over, but over the years it, it grew to become Yuna. This mode, by the way, where you catch fiends and have them fight, there's certain combinations of fiends that you can use that just totally break the game. Like uh, when speedrunners do 10 2, there's like certain fiend combinations that they get to make the game like really fast and broken. Riku was in 10 as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everyone that's in 10 2 pretty much is in 10. Uh, Pain is not, right? And the three faction leaders are not. So, like Barilai, Nuge, um, Gipple, they are not. Um, there's a couple other characters that aren't, I'm trying to think of which ones, but almost everyone, almost everyone that's in 10-2 is also in 10. Oh, uh, let's see, who else, who else? I can't think, I can't think of anybody else. I mean, some incidental characters, like Nautila that's in Beaconel, she's not in 10. Um, oh yeah, we'll get an SP to think who else oh you know I, well, they can't do it we're not can i escape can i escape this so we, they don't waste their time i didn't even remember there were factions oh well you need to do a replay that's that means it's replay time for 10 2 for you oh you know who else the new blitzball coach the new Blitzball coach, um, shoot, what's his name? Barrel Eye. 
Barrel-Eye also is, uh, is not in 10. He's only in 10-2. Um, I'm trying to think of who else. I think that might be it. That might be it and everyone else is in 10. Okay, are either of these guys ready? Okay, yeah, he's ready. All right. What's the idea caging me up like this? The more time I waste in here, the more business opportunities I miss out on. Time is money. Every second lost is a gill lost. Money, money, money. Now let me out. Whew. I've been yelling too long. What's that? I died and became a fiend? Now, wait a minute. No, I remember now. The ungrateful deadbeats I lent money to did me in. And when I died, they all danced on my grave, the nerve of those bums. Hey, listen. You all ride on this fancy ship here. You must know how to get me back to normal. Come on, help me out. I'll make it worth your while. How does 100 gil sound? No, you say? You're killing me here. How about we make it 150 then? Hey, are you listening? Gull wings, my foot. What kind of sphere hunter team can't turn one fiend back to normal? And you have the nerve to make me work for free? No way. I'm starting your tab right now. I don't think anyone can turn a fiend back to normal, my dude. Um, I wish I could enjoy playing old games, but I really can't. Oh, I understand. A lot of people can't. I st I like mostly playing old games, mostly, you know, and not as much new games, you know. Okay, let's see what his tail is. He's a businessman. So I figured I've worked 500,000, no, a million gills worth. Pay up. It's all right there for you. Huh? Oh, so you do have it ready. Why didn't you tell me to begin with? That's trash. Well, goodbye then. <laughs> money. It's mine. Money. Oh, more over there. Can you not see? Over there too. <laughs> Can these fiends, are these fiends blind? I mean, I guess he has tiny eyes, but I assumed he could still see. It's mine. It's all mine. I guess these guys are blind. That's trash. I modified his neural circuits. Uh oh. So he thinks trash is money. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, we were leveling him too. All right, let's see his story. Lady Yuna. To imagine that one such as I could ever accompany you on your journeys, there could be no greater joy for a monk of Yevon to feel. Since the time of Yokan, I've desired to fulfill my dreams of guarding the great summoners, but I never did, I believe, and I would see my dreams come true in this monster. Mon but never did I believe that I would see my dreams come true in this monstrous form. Biding my time in this shell was the right move after all. Old though I may be, I swear to you, I shall train and day and night to become a worthy protector. Ugh. Quite a strain on this old man, but I'll be fine, lady. I swore to be your guardian. I won't let something like this strike me down. I will stand strong until we arrive in safely at Xanarkin. Leave everything to me, Lady Yuna. I shall protect you. Still, the shaking of the ship does cause me consternation. Are the storms of sin closing in on us? Oh God, poor guy. What is this now? The ship is powered by Machina? Lady Yuna, what a horrible joke. Yevon teaching states that Machina are forbidden. Please, don't tease an old man. And you say sin is no longer terrorizing us? That the calm will last for all time eternal? What tall tales you would have me believe. I'm not as senile as you may think, Lady Yuna. <laughs> and you tell me peace reigns throughout the land and that you're no longer a summoner but a spear hunter? So this ship has been overcome by the foul taint of sin? Forgive me, Lady Yuna, for failing you. No, I must not give up. We must make haste to Xanarkin, to Lady Unaleska. Then Lady Yuna will see the truth. Oh God. Oh God, poor man. is a poor senile old monk. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, we're showing him that Xanarkand is different now. Oh, he's gonna be so sad. Yeah, unbelievable. So it was true. Lady Unaleska is... Uh, 
I do not wish to know any more. Oh. oh, my heart. I cannot live in this age having learned that is enough for me. If it is a cruel truth, then I would rather... Oh, I missed it. Ah, uh, I think he wants to pass on, though. Ah, uh, thank you so much for the lurk, Jackie. I can see time. It is within me. I can see a bright new age. Hi, Summoner Yuna. Oh, he does get to pass on. I leave Spira in your hands. Oh, that was sweet. Gonna go get dinner? Oh, I, I am already hungry for dinner. Oh my gosh, I have a few more hours to wait, but I'm already hungry. Okay, so we've got him, and then we've got... Oh no, we did the other, okay. All right, let's catch some more. Okay, good, we've still got some small ones. So let's do a small one at Meehan High Road. Dive beak, that's what we wanted. Alright, so let's cross you off. Alright, and let's use the special one in Jose. Uh for let's see. Where's the reptiles? Not Drake. There we go, this guy. Okay. Agma, yes. All right. All right, back into the arena. Do yes, you too. Oh, nope, that's pain. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna give you oh no, you don't have a lot of MP. You don't really have a lot of MP either. Okay. Well, we will do at least um, Iron Duke. And let's give you an Adamantite. Oh, excuse me. Let's give you an Iron Duke as well. And let's see. Hmm. I guess if he has... Yeah, he can still cast one flare. Like that. Okay. Let's enter tournament. Standard cup. Yes. Oh, we're fighting forest watch very first. Great. Cool. Okay. While they fight... I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick um, so that I don't have to be as disappointed and uh, watch all of it. So we'll see how they are when I come back. I'll be right back.
All right. I see. Okay, the gel is still alive. Of course it is. Of course it is. Very rude of it. Yeah, okay, wait. Um, let's escape this. I want to give the fish... I want to give the fish the caster stuff and see what happens. Because he does have enough mana to get off a few flares. So maybe we do that. Yes, yes, yes. Um, yeah, get the ass. Okay, let's try it like this. And I know he doesn't have the Iron Duke anymore, so he doesn't have as much mana, but he still has enough that he could cast a flare or two. Well, at least they're not fighting Forest Watch first. Yeah, see, he opened with a flare. Oh, but that's right, we're doing the Ragnarok and stuff, so he doesn't use any mana. So he'll still cast it. Okay. So if we have if we go against Forest Watch, this should be good. I can't believe he'll still try to cast telekinesis when he has flare. Alright, last one. Let's go. I didn't even read it. Oh good, it's not Forest Watch. <laughs> it's the, the moon fang. Oh no! They kill him in one hit? That's so rude! The killer fang actually stuck. Wow! That's fucked up. So much missing going on with these guys.
Alright, one down. One down, one down. You got this, again. in you. Just like miss, 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 miss. He's gonna win on the misses alone. I don't know why he keeps using squirt gun though. That thing takes forever. Like just use your regular attack. There it is. Okay. Let's speed this up. There we go. There we go. Okay. Winner, winner. Okay, let's go watch their fiend tales. this guy's we did him last time okay wait wait we're, we're behind hang on yeah we have to watch him okay there are waters so deep that even the light of the many fireflies on the surface barely reach oh wait no this is the one we just did okay this is the one we were working on i reside in those great depths but i'm sorry to say that there aren't many interesting tales from down there oh but perhaps i could tell you that story the story of a young boy was a summer day five years gone on the banks of the moon flow. I noticed a small boy walking by the edge of the water as I traced a path down the shores. It was almost dusk and tears were rolling down his cheeks. I had a grandson about his age when I was a human. I worried for him, but looking as I do, I would have only frightened him further if I approached. Just as I turned my back to return from whence I came, the boy noticed me. Where did I leave off? Oh, that's right, when the boy saw me. The boy was not afraid of me, but he did keep crying. He said he hadn't finished his summer project for school and classes were about to begin soon. So I decided to tell him the story of the, friend, the fiend who lived in the depths of the moon flow. The boy's eyes then suddenly lit up, and from that day forward he came to hear me tell my tale. By the time the summer break was over, he had finished the project to bring back to school. Ah, you want to hear more? Well, I'm sure the boy was praised for his interesting project, although I couldn't tell you for sure, because he never came back to the riverbanks. I haven't seen the boy since, and I'm a little sad in truth, but being with him made me remember my grandson. Hmm? Oh, sorry, my story is over. I'm getting on in years now. I'll spend my last days in that place. Okay, well, let's take him back to the moon flow. I've returned to the moon flow. I wonder how the child's doing. Only the old seem to ever think about times long past. I'm sure that child has forgotten all about me. As it should be. Gramps! Oh, 
Oh no. Gramps, long time no see. How is he still a child if it's been so long? Ah, so you do remember me. How have you been? Were you commended for your summer project? Yeah, thanks to you, the teacher was really impressed. Okay, maybe it's only been a few months or something? I see, I see. I was elated to see the child after five long years. Oh, no, it's been five years. And in my joy, I failed to realize until later the scent of moon lilies arising from him. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Oh. What's happened to you? That day when we were given free study and I went to go see you as promised. I couldn't wait to tell you how well I did, so I took a shortcut. Then I slipped and fell into the water and drowned. <gasps> oh no. I'm sorry, I couldn't keep our promise, Gramps. Why were you in such a hurry? Well, I thought if I didn't hurry, you would go away somewhere. Ah, such foolishness. It was not as if I was going anywhere. So before I took off for the far plane, I wanted to see you one last time. Oh, he's been unsent all this time. Now that I have, I can finally make my way to the far plane. No, I won't let you go alone. <gasps> what? I now know that someone has to keep an eye on you at all times. I will go to the far plane too. Who knows? They may have homework in the far plane as well. Gramps. Uh, to be quite honest, it would have been quite lonesome to go by myself. Aww. So we fulfilled his wish too, and they both got to go to the far plane. Well, that's so sweet. Oh, I love it. All right, let's go back to the Fiend Arena. <clears throat> oh, Sagain, we had to go do him. Okay, okay. Jump the gun. Uh, that one was so sweet, I, I forgot. I forgot that we had another one. Okay, let's do this one. I had figured myself for dead. Thanks for rescuing me. I was just about to drown too. I was feeling so exhausted. I should have thought twice before setting off to swim all the way around Spira. Whoa, that's a long way. Uh, maybe you can't tell, but I'm an adventurer. I've enjoyed traveling ever since I was a human. I've climbed the tallest peaks of Gagazet, braved the deserts of Beaconel, and more. No matter what the dangers, never once have I thought of abandoning this life. Why, you ask? I never thought much about why. It's just part and parcel of being an adventurer. Recently, I thought to swim all the way around Spira. I was trying to do that when you saved me, but I won't give up. Sure, it's easier by boat or airship, but how could I put this? You could say, I feel I've changed a lot through these adventures. I've not just become more experienced. What I mean is that something has changed inside of me, fundamentally. It's hard to explain, but it's important to me. I can't quite put my finger on it, but that's the reason. Is it because he's a fiend now? Let's find out. It's time for another journey. Yet, the reason to seek adventure is still unknown. When I grow up, I'm gonna cross this ocean all on my own. Wow. Why don't you just take a ship? Ha, adventurers don't use ships, stupid. Duh. Wow, wow, wow. Why not? Because. Because we're adventurers? Hmm, I wonder why. <laughs> I 
something's different. The scenery just feels it's not what it once was. Uh, maybe after returning from a long, hard journey, the same scenery can look completely different. And that's what I want to see, what I want to feel. That's why I go on my adventures. Yeah, I don't think this fiend knows it's a fiend. <laughs> I don't think it knows. Oh, he jumped high. All right, I think we have one more medium. Just want to see what party members we have before we go catching. Okay, yeah, so we can put Lesser Drake in there and we can do the Death Dauber. Yeah, so we need to try to catch some large ones. All right, we're gonna make him our glass cannon. So we'll do ring and Ragnarok. And then for you, we'll do Adamantite, keep you alive, um, and Iron Duke. Yeah, okay. Um, let's go back. Okay, so we do need... Yeah, we do need one out of Thunder Plains that's large, so let's grab that. Ochu, there we go. And we put our last of our mediums in the party, so let's get another medium. Okay, um, do we need... Can we come back along here? Mm, no, I think B can come. Oh, this guy, yes, we need him. All right, standard cupping it up. Okay, let's try to get these guys done. Death Dauber and Lester Drake. Hopefully they can win a tournament easily. Maybe I'm using a better strat now. Oh, it's the Elementrio. With having like a glass cannon with flare and then somebody that's a little bit sturdier to survive. They can cast like the Moogle Kyrja. If they choose to. If they choose to. There we go. Oh, that was easy. There we go. Hell yeah. Nice. Let's go. Um, M's. I feel like I think we have enough M's. I don't think we need it. I think we need like L's and S's. Oh, let's see how these guys do against Forest Watch. Come on, come on. Y'all can do it. Just just flare. Just open up with a flare, Death Dauber. Open up with a flare. Come on. Wow. Okay, well maybe they can't do it. Because Death Dauber died instantly. Yeah, he's gonna keep doing that. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I know, I know, we are not the winner. 
I think that was an S. I clicked past it so fast. Okay, let's try that again. Standard cup, let's go. Uh, okay, good. We're starting out with Ugly Jam. I guess their first one was easy before, too. We had an element trio. That was no problem. Dang, he dies so fast. That's part of the problem, I guess. We're trying to do it this way. It's okay, Lester Drake can take this one by himself, I'm pretty sure. we go. Oh, they didn't all die. I thought they were all gonna die. Thanks for the heals, Haiza. Just hit him. Don't bother with telekinesis. He'll be dead in a couple hits. Come on, just hit him again. Oh, he's gonna telekinesis. Okay, maybe he has more HP than I thought. I didn't think it would take this many hits. There we go. Uh, yes, we need an L. Okay, please miss the death dauber so he can just, like, destroy you. You need to flare him. You need to flare him. There we go. That's how you do it. Take him out in one hit. Okay, one more, and it is, of course, it's fucking Boris. Watch. <laughs> but they might have gotten enough levels that they'll have their tail anyways, even if they lose. And so they probably are, because Death Dauber is going to die instantly. He can't survive that um, if he casts magic. Oh, why would you open with telekinesis? Ah, uh, flare the other one, and you're dead. Come on. 
why? That's not gonna do anything. Come on, go ahead and kill me. Because the stupid Drake's just gonna telekinesis over and over. Oh. <laughs> okay, no, no, no. Just, just run, just run. Don't waste your time. Yeah, barrier shift, and then he wouldn't be casting fire anymore. Okay. Okay, well, let's see if they're ready for their fiend tails anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know. I know. Stupid forest watch. Okay. Fiend tails. Let's see if it's time. Oh, not develop. History. Yep, okay. This is so bad. If I waste time here, I won't be able to meet my quota. I can't be dilly-dallying like this. Please, let me out. Pretty please. My boss can be so scary. Mm, what's my job, you ask? Well, it's actually sort of confidential, but I guess in a word, I'm a salesman. You know, mob machina, right? Our company deals in sales and rentals. We salesmen travel around trying to get new contracts. About one of, how about one for the Gullwings, huh? Machines can be very useful. What's that? You say you can just catch us fiends and make us work for you instead? This is so bad. You're a competitor. You're like a rival company. If the boss finds out I've been headhunted by the Gullwings... <sighs> what? Who is my boss, you ask? No, I can't tell you that. That would be very, very bad. It's top secret. Confidential. Hush, hush. I'm telling you. Oops. There we go. Um, but just between us, at this rate, it won't be long before my boss makes it to the top. And who's that, you ask again? Come on, I told you, I can't say. All right, let's find out who his boss is. Let's find out. Line up. The boss is coming. Okay, they're all fiend salesmen. It's Rin! Mr. Rin, Master Rin, business is booming this month as well. At this rate, we'll have a number one market share by next year. Oh my god, of course it's fucking Rin. Everyone! How many contracts did you get? Let Master Rin know. I got five. Eight for me. I managed six. I got four. Zero. Aside from a small ar arbitration, everyone performed well. Or arboration. Keep up the good work next month, too. Yeah! Ran what the fuck? How's business? Eh, uh, so so. Eh, uh, so so. Rin, you can't exploit fiends like that. You fucking stupid pick me. My god. Rin. No. Bad. <sighs> can't do nothing with that boy. Alright, Death Dauber, let's see what your story is. I want to grow stronger, become more powerful. I'm tired of being treated like a wimp. Sometimes I can't even stand to look at myself. I've gone through life running. When I look at myself, I see a weakling, a puny creature feared by none. Like when I was human, I was a runt then too. If I was fated to turn into a fiend, I wish I could have been big. Like an iron giant slicing my way through the wind with my bare shoulders. But I tried to adapt, truly I did. Even a small fiend can beat a big one if it's quick enough, right? So I trained hard, but something didn't feel right. That wasn't the kind of power I wanted. What I wanted was the power to not have to bow down to anyone. I think I get it now. I thought I wanted to be stronger, more powerful, but all this time what I was missing wasn't strength, it was courage. Courage to face the world. Okay, let's see if we the Death Dauber gets courage. I was bullied again. Oh, this must be him as a human.
that buzzer? The weakling? Weakling, weakling. Take that back. What did you say? I couldn't hear you. I'm not a weakling. Oh, maybe that's the theme, and the kid's just incidental. You want to have a go then, right? The kid's just the framing device. Huh, not even worth my time. Let's go. Poor Death Dauber. What is it? You were so brave. You took on that scary fiend all by yourself. Aww. When I gathered up my courage, I... I just... I felt really good. Oh, you're still here? This is our place, you see. I told you not to play around here. What? You have something you want to say? Courage, right? Wah! You're just running at him! There's a boom! Oh my god, that was really cute. That was really cute. Alright, so we got two, I think two empties. Yeah. Alright, let's trap some more. Let's see if we can trap some of these large ones. Okay, we do have a large. Um, okay. Let's go to Gagazette and get the large that's here. Roundup, it's Boris. Yes, you can catch Boris, the crab. <laughs> uh, okay, we need another, let's trap another medium. Um, so in the canal. Okay, yeah, Bolt Drake, sweet. Okay, let's cross both of those guys off our list. Alright, so we've still got... We've got several fiends left to level up. We've got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine left to capture. Okay, let's go back to the menu. And let's set up our party. Alright, we will you we'll do Boris. Yeah, we'll do Boris next. Oh, not invincible. I want adamantite and uh, iron duke. There we go. Okay. And let's go save our game. Let's go save our game. So that is going to be the fiends that we have caught for today. We will be back tomorrow to catch more fiends, to see more fiend tales. So thank you so much for joining me. Um, if you are watching the recording of this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.